These Asian bros asked for some advice on their online dating profile, and this is what the internet had to say. Yeah, we pulled these viral posts from Reddit, Andrew. There's four different archetypes of guys, Andrew. We got the K-pop gamer. Ooh. We've got the GQ rich world traveler prepster from Australia. Polo We've shirt. got the workout under armor marathon runner from Texas, uh -huh. and we sort of got the edgy music tattooed dyed hair Filipino guy. Okay, so yeah, well, basically... Uh, these guys all asked for advice on the Asian male forums, you know, on Reddit. And then uh, I think a lot of bros gave some good advice. We highlight it here. Again, we are going to reiterate, like we just said in a previous video, sometimes getting dating advice over the internet is kind of weird because like these people don't know you, but at least this is just online dating profile advice, like visual advice. So I think some of it does apply. Hopefully it can help you. Please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pot Boys. If you find it useful, give this a thumbs up. But also, check out Smala Sauce because this is very delicious and a lot of very cool, influential foodies and chefs are enjoying it right now. From Sichuan to Sicily, Andrew, uh, this is the first advice. Here's a bunch of photos of the gamer Korean passing guy. Actually, he turns out, Andrew, he's half Indonesian and half German. It's kind of crazy. I thought he was Korean. Anyway, somebody said... I don't know if it's your style or not, but I'd have a couple more masculine outfits in your rotation. Maybe just, you know, white or black tee with dark blue jeans and good boots never failed me. Basically, this guy was like, yeah, you could rock pearls if you want to wear them a little bit more like an ASAP Rocky. And what do you think about this advice? You used to wear pearls. Mm, yeah, what? I think pearls, if it fits your whole style. I mean, this guy's uh, clearly kind of like uh, essentially reaching pretty boy gamer style. Soft boy, fashion boy. He's almost so, like ASAP gamer. Yeah. So I think within the gamer world, definitely it's working, man. I mean, he got the oversized T. I think it's I think it's solid. I think that girls in that yeah. world are taking a look at it. You know what I think it shows the convergence of? I think it shows the convergence of the gamer world mixing with other pre-existing subcultures. Mm. He's almost like a Soho gamer. This guy said, that being said, you definitely come across as someone who is defined by what he wears, probably evident by the amount of selfies that you're willing to share. As other commenters said, soft. I know that sounds harsh, but nothing masculine to see here. And then somebody else said, hey guys, don't hate on these people who hate on soft looks. They're probably just gym bros taking steroid supplements. Own your own aesthetic. And then this other guy came in and said, you know, as a fellow Gen Z guy, you gotta take this millennial or potentially older advice uh, understand that they have a valid perspective, but also they don't understand that a lot of girls our age that are Gen Z and under like soft boys and e-boys because there's a lot of e-girls who would like e-boys. Yeah, yeah. So I think this guy to me would also benefit from like telling the people what type of girl he's trying to attract. You know what I mean? Like, Does he look like he could attract a Twitch streamer with pink hair? Yeah, yeah. If he likes Twitch streamer girls, like kind of like a little ABG Twitch streamer type girl. Like but I less think, in the streets, more in the, on the webcam. Yeah, less, less on the streets, more in the streams. Um, I think he's doing okay. I think he's fine. Right? Yeah. He looks yeah. like he's he's well put together. But I don't do know you how he think acts. if he in, uh, lifted more and became a little bit more masculine, he could increase potentially in America his universal appeal to America? Or should he lean into the internet gamer, uh, I, pro I, gamer I, I, niche? Just judging on what he wears, um, it's giving off a sense that he's okay being in his lane. Like it doesn't look like he's trying to attract all types of people. Yes. If you want to get more of a broader market, being a little bit more stronger, fit, masculine, muscular will help with anybody because obviously a lot of women still like a muscular guy. Particularly in America or North America. But he's appealing to the group that maybe doesn't care as much. You know, he, he, I don't think he's scrawny either. You know, he's skinny, but he's not like tiny, like frail looking. You know what I mean? So I think he... I just think he's doing fine, is what I'm saying, in his lane. Yes, yes, yes. And I agree with you. All these could have been even more detailed. Like we said, this guy, these guys did the baseline, which is providing their online dating profiles. <laughs> but they probably should say, where do they spend their time? What type of chicks are they yeah. uh, uh, hoping I, to attract? Right? On his profile, listen, I'm not an expert, but I would say like different looks, smiles. Like he looks a little like dead inside, trying to be that kind of like... I'm an e-boy gamer, like, boom, boom. Like, where's the smile? Just like a laugh, like, you know, a, candid, a little candid, like, 
Ooh, like an expression. Show some teeth, right? Who yeah. knows? But everybody's teeth quality is different. Moving on, Andrew, we've got buff Australian GQ guy. Ooh. But somebody said, I don't know, you kind of give me Mario Lopez vibes, but you got a bad haircut. Um, this guy is probably working with some pretty good cards, right? He looks like he has money. But uh, some people said, you have a good physique, but you have too many solo stage shots. You need a good social proof photo, and that would elevate the profile. You, uh, <sighs> you need a clear shot of your face for the first photo. Someone was saying, you know, the first prompts about vibes are just fillers. You're not writing anything unique in your prompts. Mm. How, Andrew, how important are prompts? I think prompts... Guys, as much as it is about looks, I think prompts help because, like, there are girls out there who still value, like, a person who's interesting or can say something about themselves. I've heard from multiple women that when dudes put, like, one-word answers in their prompts, they're kind of like, yeah, that's mysterious in one way, but also, like, bro, like, say something. I Would you agree that almost do uh, somebody having no prompts is better than having bad generic prompts. Yeah, I think here's the thing, because the market of people that he relates to, he's not like this cool, tatted, mysterious, like super cool guy. Like he's, he's, a, he's playing the preppy money. Yeah, lane, he's right? going to be appealing to college educated girls and college educated girls probably also want to like hear about your personality. I intellectually stimulated. Yeah, possibly. you know, so he's clearly fit. He's kind of flexing in a lot of these photos, so I think that's kind of weird. And again, yeah, he should probably have something where he's like around other people, but he's not a bad looking guy. I mean, he's honestly in good shape. Somebody said, your hair looks like one from a 40 year old Chinese pork butcher. Grow it out and actually have the fade uh, not as high. Somebody said, please just get a typical Asian F boy haircut. Anything <laughs> is better than the one you have right now. You look Yo. kind of short with your stocky figure. There's nothing you can do about it except some L's because some women who want talls and slender soccer player look, you will not get them. And he also said, your fashion just looks like a 40 year old Vietnamese guy who goes to the casino a lot. Are you, <laughs> are you really 27 or are you a 40 year old who thinks he can pass as 25? Yo. Um... A little old school. A little old school. I mean, he totally set, looks like a banker. Like he can okay, and then he's trying to do the uh the chain with the black shirt and uh He kind of had one Kevin Wynn photo. He he should definitely change the hairstyle. But I mean, I don't want to say he's whack. Like, nah, I mean he's definitely in good shape. Like, you know, and uh, definitely definitely put product in your hair. That's one thing I noticed, Andrew. For some reason, until somebody close to you in your personal circle shows you how to apply product in your hair, some Asian guys just let yeah. it rock up because obviously the hair is gonna go perpendicular to the head, right? Because it's, uh, Asian guys' hair yeah. is like a porcupine, and they're like, yeah, it's got shape to it, a porcupine shape. What is that? That probably avoid doing that, right? Yeah, I, I would say overall he looks uninteresting in the pictures, but I think that him being a banker, it's gonna attract. Like you wear that clothes and you're in banking, you're five nine, you're buff. You're gonna get other girls who like the corporate guys, and I think he's a solid corporate guy. Right, and in Australia, some people were saying that that environment may even cater more to that corporate prep, like I'm on a boat look. Than uh, America. America's a little bit more downward assimilating I think culturally, so. right? Um, now we've got uh, the same smile every guy pick. This guy is a, um, a guy from Texas, obviously in pretty good shape. Here is his photos. Um, somebody said, you look exactly the same in each photo. Same smile. Try including some non-pose shots. Good luck. Uh, yeah, I would definitely remove some of these photos. But uh, nah, I mean, he's in good shape. He has a good smile. It is the same. These are kind of like not cool photos i would say like you know he needs to stop putting up the longhorn symbol like you don't you don't need to do it more than once you don't need it more than once man. maybe he's looking to attract some sort of person who's also very passionate about uh college he only wants to date other longhorn like fanatics people who are real yeah that's generally not as an asian guy like, that's not the identity yeah. I would pick. I'd like, to be this, one of the, like, the college fanatics. I'd remove this San Francisco sweater shirt. It looks like he's in his pajamas, and uh, he looks like he just rolled out of bed. But right. uh, not quite archive yeah, fashion. He right needs, now. like, a friend photo here. You know what I mean? Yeah, he probably could clean up the, uh, update the fashion, become a little bit more How tall is he? Trend. Did it say? It didn't say. I, 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 uh, he looks fairly tall. I'd say 5'10". Oh, dude, he's five. He's 23. He's, he's great, man. He's in great shape. Um, but, yeah, same expression every... Every photo, weird. Somebody said, uh, uh, in one of your prompts, you say you love being the little spoon. I don't know about saying that. That doesn't really sound that cool to me. Um, somebody was saying, if you really want to say that, then just 
try to say it, it with a, um, some sort of analogy about a dining set and like being more clever, talking about utensils leading to something about a right, little spoon. Right. But he said, please say that the girl will be the little spoon, not you. Yeah. Would you agree that that's not, yeah, maybe not a conventionally cool thing to say? I, I don't think this guy's profile is bad. I think it's going to be more about how he like speaks to them on the dating apps. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, he kind of looks like a Chad Kev Jumbo, almost like a... Yeah, looks like a friendly Texas... Taiwanese Chinese kid, you know? Yeah. Somebody said, uh, agree with everyone. Please get rid of that unibrow or at least clean up that area between your unibrow and possibly some skin stuff. These are the physical yeah. uh, trait advices that you will get from the internet, right? Yep. They're just picking apart the photos. A real advice though. Last but not least, we have uh, probably one of the edgier guys. Andrew, we have the, the Filipino guy. He's got a full sleeve mm. uh, below the elbow tat on one of his arms. He's got dyed hair. He's experimenting with the curtain bangs or a little bit more of a messier, I guess, white punk rock MKG uh, MGK hairstyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know if this is his dating profile or he's just talking about haircuts in this post. So this is not his dating profile, but I guess, uh, what did people say about his haircut? Well, they said your hair looks really dry. You might want to try argan argan oil oh, to, yeah, you know, yeah. make it more lush. Yeah. Yeah. It does look dry. And other but people said you probably should niche max and go full punk rock. If you want to get the hottest chicks possible. Uh, yeah. by the way, guys, not my words, just internet advice. Um, do you think at some point, Andrew, if you go like, uh, let's just say his look with the tat is a uh, six out of 10 edgy or even five out of 10, you might as well go to seven or eight. Mm -hmm. Like you might as well just edge it out. I mean, if that's that's a if if you feel comfortable in that lane, yeah, uh, I guess so. Um, I know some guys sometimes they kind of waver in between. You know, you're talking they don't, about being edgy and not yeah, edgy. they're a little scared to do it, um, which I can understand. But I guess overall, my takeaways are like one: it's good to see there actually be some honest coaching on the internet. Like, there's these spaces, and again, Reddit can have its good Reddit and the bad Reddit. Right? Like, there's helpful stuff on Reddit, but also some, like, BS that is, like, not good for you, Reddit. Right. But I think these Reddit posts are generally beneficial because, like, it's a lot of guys that are earnestly trying to give their honest opinion, you know? And I think that hopefully, like, people can learn from it. Yeah. Um, ultimately, as far as some of the advice goes, I thought it was probably, like, pretty strong. I mean, you've got a Reddit forum full of, what, like, 20,000 guys that are, like, dedicating their brain power into coaching you. But I think it does go to show you there is generational differences. Like, obviously, the soft boy Soho gamer, like, people are telling him to masculine up, right? But some of his people his same age are like, no, it's fine, man, because, like, it's just, like, fitting with the times. And the older people, they don't understand. Right. So well, it depends on what he wants out of life, yeah. but also where he's already at. Because let's say you think about it, if he's already like tried to look cool and he's in this lane, but he wants to be in this lane, it's even further now because he spent all this time in this lane. Right. So you know what I mean? So it's almost harder to switch at this point. Right. You're saying he's so far down one path to double back around and get into a different lane yeah. is impossible. I think most people are better off. Ultimately, this is, you know, it's going to be on a case by case basis, being the best version of who they are, mm. provided that their version has some sort of uh, scalability to higher levels. Yeah. I mean, it depends on what you can do because or what your personality can uphold too. Yeah, but I don't I don't think that not having a style or having the ultra nerd style is having I don't think that that counts as having a style at least in North America. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it really plays that strong. Yeah, so anyway guys, let us know what you guys think of the advice that Reddit gave these guys in the comments section below. Check out Smile Last Sauce at smilelastsauce.com right now. It is shipping very very soon and uh yeah, it's cool to see Asian bros just helping other Asian bros, man. And uh, I, I don't think a lot of people were able to organically get it in their circles growing up or from an older cousin, uh, especially from uh, certain types of families. It's just not like that. So anyway, guys, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Until next time, we're the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.